what is going on guys it's Noah here with custom RC mods welcome back to a new video in today's episode we are going to be maidening this FT mini sparrow as you see right in my hand here and we've got the sunny sky 2207 S, uh, 2100 kV on here. I'm really excited. That's the same plat power plant I'm using in my arrow currently that screams. Um, and yeah, it's gonna be a little bit different because this is a V-tail mix, so it's more like a three channel than just your typical bank and yank uh, plane. Uh, but I'm really excited. We've got it all balanced out and I think there's not really much else to do. Since this is my first time uh, throwing this plane, I'm going to do a wingtip launch like this at about a 35 degree angle. And I have dialed in a few clicks of up trim just so that I can uh, save this plane before it gets back towards the ground and then we'll be on to flying. So let's go ahead, test our control surfaces here. Obviously the throttle works. Um, so that's, yeah, that's all functional. Let's go ahead and get this thing up in the air. And there you go. I'm flying it a lot like a bank and yank, surprisingly. And it does have a good amount of throttle um, throw, of course, a lot of speed. Wow, that's really touchy. It's not a very long airplane, so it does tend to waver up and down a little bit. Might have to get a little bit of expo in for my elevator. But it is cruising around very nicely, as you can see right there. It's not as smooth as like a typical bank and yank plane just because just because it uh, has that little rudder on the back instead of just like tailorons. But it does fly a lot like a bank and yank airplane would, so that's good. It's just a little little bit of a handful and a lot to get used to, but it does fly well. And for some reason, even though I put in a decent amount of up trim, it still does want to dive. So let's go ahead and put some more up trim in. I'm just cruising around at like a quarter throttle or less. And that's good. Feels, has plenty of power, plenty and plenty of power. And it still basically flies like a banking egg, surprisingly. Um, Obviously, as you know, that's kind of my flying style, um, but you can do pretty much anything with it. It does do like rolls and things like that, um, which is interesting, of course, but I am a little surprised it's not as smooth as, I, smooth as I thought it might be. But since this is a chuck glider, let's just go ahead and see. It does have a very wide wingspan, and it seems like it does have a pretty good glider ratio on it as well and it slows down very nicely. You can see coming in right by us. Looks like my hatch came undone. That's not an issue. And it does get up to speed, um, which is interesting and it's a lot of fun to fly. I don't know if it might be my accidental thrust angle on the motor, on which I doubt it is, but every time I give it some power, it does tend to dive a little bit. That might just be my control surfaces. I need a little bit more sub trimming. But yeah, definitely some elevator expo is in order and just general trimming and uh, just gotta get this thing all worked out. It is a little breezy today and it's not overly a big fan of that. Other than that, it is clipping along very nicely. Because the elevator is on a, like a 45 degree angle, um, it doesn't have as much per like the normal throw that you normally associate with that much elevator.
but it is flying really nicely. And yeah, as I said, it is a little bit more comfortable um, on less windy days for sure. It is getting knocked around a little bit, but. And that I presume is just from the wide wingspan and the short length of this airplane. Um, that would pretty much do it very touchy, especially on the elevator axis of it. Yeah, it's got a lot of different flight characteristics to it. I really like it. Feels nice and solid and commanding in the air. That's for sure. I think that has a lot to do with just the large weight of this plane um, due to the, um, compared to the size of it. I had to add a decent amount of nose weight if you guys saw that video, um, just because of my large motor setup. Uh, this is normally designed to run like an 1806 um, but I'm running a 2207 in this, so decent bit bigger than the recommended motor size. But yeah, it does go really fast. Definitely gonna have to sub trim that elevator. It just keeps coming back to that. I think that's the one reason that it's not as smooth as it could be. And we are losing juice, so I'm gonna go ahead and put put it on in. We might even be able to hand catch it at some point, but I'm just gonna set it down on the ground for now, I think. Now let's give it a hand catch to attempt. It is very smooth at low speed. I really like that. Just gonna do a little dead stick landing here. It does have a nice glide ratio to it. And there you have it guys. Let's go ahead and check out the uh, mud damage on the bottom looks like the hatch did come undone as I suspected when it was flying we need to uh, see if that Can be reinforced and looks like surprisingly there isn't any mud caught up into this uh, Little tailpiece right here, um, but I'm really happy with how this flies Thank you guys so much for watching so much for supporting the channel You're definitely gonna see some more of this sparrow It's a lot of fun to fly uh, and yeah If you have any plane requests for me to do here in the upcoming future uh, please let me know but that's it for now hope you guys enjoyed this flight video this maiden of the ft sparrow and i'll catch you guys in the next video